Ba -ba -ba -ba. Hey everybody, Last Outrider here with a popularly requested video. <clears throat> what do I think of these little Astartes parts 1, 2, 3, and 4, and probably 5 and 6 coming out on the internet? First, I think they're coming out very slowly. Secondly, everybody stop using the word theories incorrectly. A theory is a proven hypothesis. All of these other videos out there, they are not theories. They are hypotheses. And even many of those are just assumptions. No theory. Yes, it bothers me, but that's the internet, the land of annoyance. Now, what do I think of them? Uh, to be honest, when I first watched them, I thought it was just somebody's CGI project being placed out as kind of an online resume and CV. I didn't think it was going to have a story to it. Now, I think, Okay, um, let's see. What do we know about the story? No, not even a hypothesis here. I'm just going to be stating facts. We saw a single boarding torpedo launched from a sword frigate to what looks like either a research station or a detention prison station located in an asteroid field. Uh, one torpedo and four Astartes managed to get out. There is no indication that these Astartes are loyalist or traitor. Um, I mean, th there's no markings to indicate it. Everybody's assuming that they're loyalists but I, the, the, the banner on the shoulder shows a skull in a fist. And typically in 40K iconology, the skull represents the emperor. So a skull in a fist, not exactly a loyalist chapter symbol, if we're going to think that hard about it. Secondly, I don't see any chaos cultists or any chaos markings on the um, station, the outpost that they're attacking. Everything there seems to be standard imperial regimental iconology, right? There's no chaos symbols anywhere, not on the station itself, why a chaos station would be floating around in a asteroid belt, I don't know. Uh, none of the troopers on the station, they all seem to be wearing just, you know, army gear with a regimental emblem on the shoulder. Um, what else? Uh, the, the biggest, I guess, the most interesting one for people so far is part four which is the only one which I have a criticism on. There seems to be a narrative problem with that one. I'm not, again, no hypotheses here. I'm just discussing fact. The narrative flow of the video didn't make sense to me. You have four Astarte, two of them, are up on a balcony, shooting down. Um, one of them is over on us, is flanking the two psychers, and one of them charges directly at them. Okay. Now, my immediate question is, why didn't all four of them 
just charge them from four different directions if they apparently were able to surround these guys unnoticed. Hell, they could literally have jumped down on them and done a death from above type of situation. <coughs> Even if the guy was able to hold them up in the midair, he'd have to hold them there or throw them, never mind. Why couldn't all four of them charge them and shoot at the same time? If the shooting is simply supposed to be a distraction to keep them using their kind shields while one of them charges, well, guess what? You can run and shoot at the same time and they would be equally distracted, if not more so. Uh, next is even more serious is this guy who's running. It seemed like they actually made an animation mistake and are trying to make up for it. This guy is running. Apparently, he's carrying dual pistols. A bolt pistol in one hand and a plasma pistol in the other. He shoots the plasma pistol throws it away, and somehow magically materializes with a combat knife in his hand. We don't actually see him drawing it, it's just there. And the standard explanation, and doesn't shoot with the plasma pistol at all until he gets up to the guy. I have no idea what the tactical thinking behind that would be. I'm just going to assume it was an animation mistake. Um... Why would you shoot with a plasma pistol and throw it away? Now, some genius is out there saying, well, it's charging, so he threw it away and pulled his combat knife. Well, let me tell you something. If anybody knows anything about Space Marines, or even Astra Militarum for that matter, people do not throw away their weapons. They, they did, no. <laughs> no. Uh, just no. Especially a plasma pistol, of all freaking things. Oh, I shot my plasma pistol. It's charging. Well, fuck this. I'm gonna pull my combat knife instead, because I just won't need that again. And I'm gonna keep my handy bolter pistol, by the way. If I have to choose which one to shoot, if I have to choose which one to shoot, and I only get one shot, with the plasma pistol, then, and I'm just shooting this to be a distraction, not because I'm expecting to hit the guy, then why don't I shoot with my bolter pistol and save the plasma pistol for when I get up to the guy and force that through the shield and get one shot off him with that? I guarantee you, if he had done that with reverse and shot with the, plasma, with the bolter pistol and then got the plasma pistol through the shield and blew him away with that, it would have been game over. But no, apparently we're supposed to believe that he charged with dual pistols, <laughs> shot with the plasma pistol, threw it away instead of mag-locking it back on his hip. Yes, mag-locking it back on his hip like Space Marines do with every other pistol and every other weapon and helmets and knives that they carry, not throwing them away and then save his bolt pistol and combat knife for close combat. Yay, I don't know. That, that's what's there. This is, like I said, this is not an hypothesis. This is what happens. Nobody seems to have mentioned that. It just looks ludicrous to me. Above and beyond why four of them didn't charge at the same time. Uh, no, I am not convinced these are Loyalist Marines, like I said. It looks like this is more of some type of prison break or theft of something from that vault that they're going to. There's something behind that door, and these two psychers, what's happening to them? Well, my immediate thought about what's happening with the psychers is this appears to be uh, one brain in two bodies, right? That's why they use opposing arms, because it's supposed to be one brain controlling one arm on the other hand. Of course, then the question is, is that, well, 
They seem to be able to control all four of their legs at the same time. If we're going to go with that philosophy, shouldn't they all be hopping around on one leg too, if they can only control one hand at a time? I don't know. I'm just pointing it out. It's not a hypothesis. It's an observation. So they get up to them, and these guys seem to be able to do nothing except for stand there and be surprised. What? There's, they're over there? Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, wow. And where did we send all our troopers? Oh, we sent them all out, and they're all dead now, so we're just going to be the two of us standing here uh, with our dick in our hands, apparently, waiting to be attacked and then killed. That's what it is. I mean, they had no offensive strategy at all. They just literally stood there waiting to be shot. Like they didn't know four Astartes were coming for them. Again. That's what I'm seeing. So, so I think these are going to turn out to be traitor marines, which are probably going to release somebody from prison. Um, or steal something and then run away and that's supposed to be the big twist. The big twist is you all thought they were loyalists and these were chaos cultists they were attacking. <laughs> no, these were the traitors. You were rooting for the bad guys the whole time. Psych! Um, that's what I think. Probably not that popular, but, but, but... I, oh, I think the only reason they put these psychers there, to be honest with you, is because these were some fanboys who always like wanted to answer what happened if Astartes fought uh, Jedi, because these guys seem to just be uh, impotent Jedi, to be honest. You know, the whole force stopping you and uh, throwing things back, um, that, that really... Not too many battle psychers do that. Battle psyker abilities are like smite and skull crushing and psychic las cannons. Um, not too much in the shield hold you in place with my mind, block these bolts over here, throw things away over there. That type of psyker is not impossible, it just doesn't show up that often in 40k 40k psychers are more I'm going to kill you with my mind not I'm going to throw you around with my mind but anyways this is my impression of the videos no hypotheses here just observations I hope you like them